Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today we're going to talk about radio buttons in JavaFX with Scene Builder and IntelliJ. So first of all, as always, I just created a new document. Let's first remove the pre-created size requirements for our window, and then we would go inside Scene Builder. And inside Scene Builder, I just have a blank anchor pane, and we would get some radio buttons. So a radio button is the button that could be on or off. But first of all, let's make them a bit bigger. Let's make them size 25. And I will be having two different radio buttons. That's way too big. There we go. And we will have a radio button dog and a radio button cat. Cat. So for now, you could, you could do whatever, it doesn't really matter, but I will just create a dog and a cat. And then I would add a toggle group, which means they're like in the same group. And I will be demonstrating first, so if I just save this and run it. Now we have two radio buttons, they can be turned on and they can be turned off. But they can also be turned on, both of them at the same time, which we would not like. We would really like to only have one turned on at the time which we can do by adding a toggle group. So we could do toggle group, let's do toggle group animal. The dog, and then on the cat, we can just choose animal as well. So now when we save and run it again, we can only have one of them picked at a time. So now I'll just use some simple examples how to like interact with them. So we would, as always, I prefer to just use a button so it's not done already on the click, but we have some button to like check if something's selected. So I would do a button. I would do a button where we would use on mouse clicked. We just have a get animal. And we would use a text field because I prefer to use text field. We could just print it to the console, but let's just be a bit fancy. 25, so we would just be able to create a program where you can pick to be either a dog or a cat, and then press the button, and you you picked option would be typed inside a text. So if you click cat, click button, this would type text. This would, <laughs> would get cat and a text. And the same if you pick dog, click button, this would get text. So how we're gonna do it is we created a toggle group. So through our toggle group, we would get the clicked, we get the active one. And we would then check if it is either equal to the cat radio button by giving it an ID, cat, or if it's equal to the dog radio button, giving it the ID, dog, and we would just give the text field borrowing name, text, and we have the button called get animal. So we would save, and then we would get a sample controller which contains our two radio buttons, our toggle group, our text field, and our on button click action. So I'll just copy this, go back to IntelliJ, enter our controller, and input. I would import our mouse event, and everything else looks good. So just very simply, when we click the button, I would access our toggle group, which is called animal. And I would just get selected toggle. So this is now the selected toggle. And we would just create an if statement that go if our animal selected toggle is equal, which means it's the same as our cat toggle, we would have our text dot set text be cat and let's just do an else if to demonstrate it's working else if this is a bit duplicate that you should probably not do it this way but I like to just demonstrate how it works. So again if animals get it's like toggle equals dog we would just do exact same text that said dog 
So that's the basic of it. Let's check if it works. Again, we run the program. We select the cat, click the button. Text is changed into cat, select the dog. And there we go. So that's just a very basic example of how to use the radio button and how to get some information from the radio button. Thank you very much for listening. Like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.